a Friday night in the Perry Boys basketball team. We're joining us here live in studio. Matt Tabler, Jacoby Lane Harvey, O'Ryan Monfort. Coach, is it weird to have a Friday off? You're just hanging out at a basketball game that's not yours tonight. Yeah, it's one of those things where you preach all week about a Friday league game and, and you're looking forward to playing on a Friday night. But, you know, the way our league sets up, we have two, game, two teams that are down in the southeast, so they have to, or the southwest, so they have to play um, a little earlier. So we, we end our league and we ended our league last week. So yeah, it's a little different, a little strange, but it gives us an opportunity to go scout some games. Yeah, you were at the Fort Recovery game, four overtimes for that one. Two teams you could see in the in the sectional district. Yeah, most definitely we're covering all bases. You know, we saw we saw our first two opponents, uh, or we actually saw our first opponent, and the, the two teams play in our league, and we'll play the winner of Ridgemont and Harden Northern. And then we had an opportunity to see um, uh, Minster tonight, and we could meet them in the district semis if we were both fortunate enough to get there. And, and who knows, we may have a rematch again with Fort Recovery as well. Lots of excitement there, Jacoby Lane Harvey. Is it weird having a Friday off? What did yeah, you do tonight? It, feel, it feels great. You know, at least, <laughs> it at least feels a day great. off. Uh, at least hope for practice off, but you know that's not going. <laughs> <laughs> How have things gone for you this season? A little hiccup in the middle of the season against those WBL teams, but you guys have done well again. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, we've been struggling. We struggled in the middle of the season, but now we're back to back to normal. I, th I think. Coach, what do you think it is about that? That's second, second year in a row, those WBL teams around Christmas time uh, gave you some trouble. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, it, it, it's just one of those things where, you know, we have a different team from last year. We right. have different guys playing different roles, and um, it, it, it's just a different speed. It's a different mentality. It's a different physicality. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we learned a lot from that. <laughs> you know, we don't, we, don't, we don't preach losing in the program at all. We like to win. But if you can learn from your losses, which I think we've done, um, that's always a good thing. Well, Ryan Monfort, what's been the difference – this last month and a half for you guys, you're winning games by 40, 50, 60 points. What's uh, been the difference? I think our defense has picked up a lot, um, a lot more than it was at the beginning of the season, and our rebounding also. And those are two things that we work on a lot of practice. Uh, so we get those done and we win games by a lot of points. Have you guys, is it possible you've gotten in better shape as the season's gone on? I mean, you, you've run a lot. All day <laughs> long. Yeah, we, we run a lot in practice, so we're definitely in better shape than what we were at the beginning of the season. What are practices like this time of year, Jacoby? Um, all running. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> no, um, uh, practices have gotten short, shorter. Uh, it's just uh, basically uh, memory, to basically. Yeah. Coach, what have these two guys meant for your program? We were talking about that the other night, you know, after li winning our th third league title, you know, the, the wins start to mount up. You, you're 27 and one over the last four years. That's what the seniors have done. Um, you know, they put your name on the map. Um, you know, all the hard work, all the summer hours. I mean, it's just like one of those nights where you probably didn't feel like practicing tonight. It's so nice out, but they're in the gym giving it all with all their energy, and they've done that for four years. I mean, two tremendous young men, not only on the court, but off the court. They get the job done, and they represent our school so great. Oh, Ryan, what was that like in the summer? And, you know, you got into August, September. Is it hard having that vision that we're going to need this now to get where we want to be in the – Regular season, postseason? Uh, yeah, it's definitely tough um, grinding in the gym when nobody's looking, but those are the things that you have to do to make it further in the tournament than what we usually do. So we uh, stuck it out, got the stuff done, and it's looking pretty bright right now. So No question about it. Three time in a row, NWCC champs. I know that was a goal for you guys. What did that mean when you, you clinched it? Uh, I feel like I was the hypest one on the team. <laughs> uh, we were really excited, though. Um, to do something and that hasn't happened in 50, 60 years at our school. So we're definitely happy to be a part of history at Perry. Coach, as you look ahead, what are you preaching to your team right now? you got a few non-league games left, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. What's the focus going into the postseason before that starts? Well, it's, it's a good thing when you have experience. Um, you don't have to keep them um, you know, their minds focused. They are focused. Yeah. That's what you get with, uh, with the leadership that we have. But what we've always preached in our program is one game at a time. You can't get to the next step until you take care of the step that you're at. So, you know, it's one of those things that we did with the league. We said it was a seven step process. Um, we know we still have three regular season games. We're not overlooking that. We want to finish strong going into the tournament. And then we won't lo overlook any opponent. We're going to be looking at the sectional final. As soon as the McComb games finish next Saturday, we will focus on that sectional final. And we won't worry about anything else until that sectional final is taken care of. 
All right, we'll have the Bath Pair Game Tuesday, later Wednesday on WSN, and then, of course, we'll be with the tournament trail all throughout the postseason as Perry tries to make it back to the regional and then one step further down to state. Guys, thanks for stopping by tonight. Thanks Thank for you. having us, Andy. Perry Boys basketball team, three-time NWCC, back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back.